All right, got a fresh batch of plaster here. Got this little handheld that works fairly well to scoop the plaster and put it on the hawk. So I just kind of pile it. If you go with the lesser batch, maybe it might be easier on your hand, but bigger batch lets you work a little longer on the wall. So, and we got a curious kitten trying to help out. <laughs> Today I'm plastering a wall, uh, plaster on metal lath. The key with the first coat, this is a Structolite base coat, so it calls for at least two coats. Uh, but the key with the first coat is just to slap it on. It doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't have to be terribly smooth, although you don't want any big chunks sticking out because it makes it harder to come by come over it with the second coat. Uh, but the key is not to be perfectionistic. Just get the plaster on the lath. Uh, the uh, thickness or thinness of the plaster is important. Uh, if it's too thin, it'll just push right through the lath and fall out on the other side. If it's too thick, and this batch is almost too thick, um, it makes it hard to spread it properly without pushing it through. So you need kind of a, a thicker a thicker batch works better on the, the first coat, and a thinner batch works better on the second coat. Alright, now we're working on the second coat. Up above you can see I've already second coated. Down here you can see that it still needs that second coat. And with your first coat, it, it's okay to, to have a little bit of lap showing through. It, it's better to have the, the plaster there to hold the second coat other, rather than pushing it through the holes. So with the second coat, you want a thinner mixture and you just kind of liberally splash some on there. And then you come back and you smooth it out, filling in all the holes. Every once in a while we find a little hard piece that breaks off and we just get that out of there. Wherever there's uh, a need for more plaster, you just fill it in. If there's a, a, a divot or a crater, just add some more plaster and then smooth it over until it all is kind of even and looks like you want it to. I add more, a lot more plaster in places where I can see that it's lighter or the uh, lath is sagging a little and we'll need more to bring, bring it out to a more even wall. Although I'm not, uh, I'm not going to the extent of trying to get it totally, totally even across. I'm just doing it by eye. Smooth it. 